Hey, how's it guys? In this tutorial, we'll learn how to manage YouTube subscription with Python. So most of us have subscribed to a long list of channels. And I've seen people subscribe to more than a thousand channels. By using Python, we can automatically manage our YouTube subscription pretty easily. For this tutorial, I'll be using YouTube API to manage my subscriptions. And if you never worked with Google API or YouTube API before, then you can watch my uh, introduction video on how to get started with Google API from the link in the description below. Now let's dive into the tutorial. All right, so first I want to uh, dive into the uh, documentation. So to manage our uh, YouTube subscriptions from the uh, YouTube data API to be more uh, specific. So we'll be using the subscriptions uh, resource. And under the subscriptions resource, uh, there are three different methods, list, insert, and delete. So it's pretty uh, straightforward. So I wrote a simple module called uh, u2.py. And under this module, I create a u2 class. Inside this class, uh, I basically uh, modify the methods so we can perform different operations uh, much easily. And you also need to uh, download the google.py source code, uh, which is uh, another module that I created to simplify the U2 API service creation. And I'll link the source code uh, in the description so you can download the source codes uh, before you can get started with this uh, tutorial. All right, so now let's dive into the tutorial. So when you are working with Google APIs, uh, make sure that you, first of all, uh, set up your Google Cloud project and as well as download the client secret file. All right, so I created a blank script called demo.py. And for uh, this tutorial, I'll show you three examples. And let me uh, zoom in a little bit more. All right, so for example one, we're going to uh, list all the channel subscriptions under your account. In this case, it's going to be under my account. And let me uh, log into my account. All right, so for example, one, we're going to list all the channel subscriptions uh, on the account. Then we're going to learn how to subscribe uh, channels. Then we're going to learn how to uh, subscribe a channel. So here, let me uh, change my environment first. All right, so first thing first, we're going to import the uh, library. From YouTube, I'm going to import the YouTube class. And here, I'm creating my client file variable to uh, point to my client secret file. Next, I'll create instance of the YouTube object. So the YouTube class, here let's uh, look at the source code first. From the YouTube class, from the constructor, we have a one required uh, parameter called client file. So basically, uh, when we create the YouTube class object, we need to provide the client file as one well of the requirements, and that's it. Then we need to run the init service method to uh, initialize the authentication. Now let me go ahead and run this code block to initialize the authentication. All right, so it's going to ask me to uh, choose my account. So I'm going to choose my account. And on this page, click on events. Then click on this link to proceed. Now I need to grant permission to the app or to the project. Now click on continue. And that's it. Now I can close this page. Now I'll start with example number one which is going to uh, list our YouTube uh, channel subscriptions. All right, so first uh, we're going to reference the uh, YouTube object. And from the YouTube object, we're going to run the list subscriptions method. Now let me go ahead and run these two lines. All right, so based on the API, uh, it tells me that I have 32 subscriptions. If I print the subscriptions object, and it's going to print a list. Inside the list, I will have our uh, subscriptions details. So if I print the first item, these are the details associated to the uh, first channel I subscribe. So we have a uh, channel title, description, uh, resource ID is going to contain the channel ID. And we also have a separate channel ID key, thumbnail and so on. Oh, so I want to um, emphasize on um, this uh, ID key. So this ID is going to be your subscription ID, which is going to be different from the channel's ID. So basically we need to uh, use this uh, subscription ID 
to unsubscribe the channel, not a channel ID. And which I'll show you in a second. All right, so if I go ahead and run this loop, now it's going to print each subscription's ID, channel ID, channel title, and when the channel uh, was created. Now I want to unsubscribe the channel from YouTube object, but I'm going to uh, use the remove subscription method. Inside the subscription method, we are going to provide the uh, subscription ID. For example, if I want to subscribe Microsoft Teams uh, from my uh, subscription, and which is uh, this channel here. Now, if I go ahead and uh, grab the uh, subscription ID, and I'll copy paste to the remove subscriptions method. Now, run this line here. Now, going back to my uh, YouTube's uh, Microsoft's team uh, page, refresh the page. The channel is now unsubscribed. All right, so let's say if I want to uh, unsubscribe a list of channels. So, for example, based on my uh, subscriptions list, and I want to unsubscribe any channels where the channel title contains uh, Amazon. So if a channel is related to Amazon, they want to subscribe the uh, channel. So here I'm inserting a loop. I'm going to iterate uh, each channel from the subscriptions list. And the uh, channel title has the, uh, has the title Amazon. Then I want to use the remove subscription method. And I'll provide the uh, subscription ID to unsubscribe a channel. So if I go ahead and uh, run this loop, all right. So it's like I only have uh, six channels related to uh, Amazon. So looking at my uh, subscriptions list on the left, if I refresh the page, now all the Amazon's uh, subscriptions are now unsubscribed. All right, so the last example is going to be uh, how to subscribe to a channel. So this one is pretty easy. So from YouTube, we're going to use the uh, add subscription method and we'll provide the channel ID. All right, so this is going to be my channel. And I'm going to return the output response. Now, if I go ahead and uh, run this line here, I'm going to get an error because I already subscribed to my channel. Now I'm going to uh, unsubscribe. All right, so at this point, uh, because the subscription has failed, so if I print response, it's going to return none. But this time, uh, because I already unsubscribed to my channel, now I'm going to uh, resubscribe again. And it's going to pass the uh, channel's info to this uh, response object. Now if I print response, and here's the channel's detail related to my uh, main channel, which is going to be uh, JGen. So this is going to be everything I'm going to cover in this video. And hopefully you guys found this video useful. And feel free to post your feedback or your comment in the comment section below. And so is, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.